what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to derive some reduction formulas. And uh, I haven't quite gone over what a reduction formula is, so I'm just going to quickly go over that right now. And it's not one of our identities, but basically a reduction formula follows a process such as the following. Like say if you had the, the cosine of theta plus pi n over 2. And that's going to equal, well, something right here. And so basically what's going to happen is that if you can write these in terms of, of um, taking some theta and adding increments of pi over 2, what is it going to equal? And so that's what's going to be uh, what we to re what we refer to as a reduction formula, and so and so you can do that with tangent, cos. I mean you can do it with all six trig functions here. But a reduction formula is just when you take a one of our trig functions, theta plus an increment of uh, pi over two, um, and and for, and for that matter, it doesn't even have to be pi over two. I mean we could do it. You know what happens? You know what does the tangent of pi plus um, I don't know, pi n, what is that going to be equal to? And basically, because this is one of our sum formulas, we could always just go ahead and just straight plug it in. Okay, right, I mean, we could just plug into our sum formula, and we could always derive what what this is going to equal. So that basically, that's just what a reduction formula is, is we're just showing some sum or some difference. Um, but usually, it's it's in regards to n, meaning if it had some increments of pi over 2, or for example here, some increments of pi. All right, so let's go ahead and just see what this equals right here, right? We want to know what is the cosine of pi minus 3 pi over 2? What, what is that equivalent to, right? I mean, that's our goal right now. Um, and the reason why that, that's called a reduction is because this, is a, because this should just be a, a single term. Okay, and that's our goal. So since this is this is a difference formula, we're going to just go out. You know, we're going to go ahead and let uh, theta equal u, and let cosine equal v. So we're going to do the cosine of u minus v. Let's just go ahead and uh, write that down. So that's going to be the cosine of u um, times the cosine of v plus the sine of u times the sine of v. Okay? So let's go ahead and, and crack down on this. The cosine of u, again, like u is theta and v is 3 pi over 2. So cosine of u is going to be theta times the cosine of v, which is 3 pi over 2, plus sine of u, which is theta, and sine of v which is 3 pi over 2. So let's see what, what we get here. Well, cosine of theta is just theta, or I'm sorry, it's just cosine theta. But the cosine of 3 pi over 2, that's the point 0, negative 1, so that's just going to be 0 plus. The sine of theta is just sine of theta. And the sine of 3 pi over 2, again, that's the point 0, negative 1, so that will be negative 1. So those guys cancel out, what the hell? And sine of theta times negative 1 is going to be negative sine of theta. So that's what our single term is going to be then. This guy up here, the, the cosine of theta minus 3 pi over 2 is going to be negative sine of theta. Come on, you know that is awesomely coolly rad. All right, uh, and let's come over here. We're going to do the uh, tangent uh, formula. And uh, we'll just go ahead and just um, straight plug this guy in then. So we'll, so we'll go ahead and start this in. So the, the tangent of theta plus 3 pi using our sum formula right, for tangent. Uh, let's see, it's going to be a tangent theta plus tangent of 3 pi. And that's going to be all over 1 minus... Uh, let's think here. That's going to be uh, tangent theta times tangent of 3 pi. I think I got that formula right. Yeah. Okay, so obviously this just stays at tangent theta, so I'm just going to leave that there. Now 3 pi, 
is, let's see, that's one for rotation and then back over here on the left side. So that's the point negative one, zero, right? So negative one, zero, that's zero over negative one, which is just zero. So it's going to be tangent of theta plus zero. One minus tangent theta. And we already said tangent of theta was zero. So on top we have tangent of theta. And on the bottom here we have one. So that means that this whole thing up here is equal to tangent of theta. So that's a pretty quick one right there. And actually, it's pretty rad how we can pretty much derive um, anything. You know, it, it just gave me some theta plus a pi over 2, pi over 5. You could do 5,500 pi over 6, and we're going to get what the reduction formula is.